All right, guys, welcome back. We are back on King's Quest 3. Um, we pretty much didn't do a whole lot of useful things uh, in uh, our last stream because uh, we were just stuck by the timer, which is a really weird and kind of frustrating mechanic, if I'm being honest. So we went ahead and wiped our saves, uh, did some stuff offline, optimized our moves to get as many items as possible uh, before the wizard uh, came back from his first journey. So we're going to start from that save. We got mostly everything, and I'm going to try to be more descriptive with my save games. That way if I get stuck in a dead end, or a place where I'm just constantly dying, or I don't have time to make it back to the house before the wizard comes back, uh, we can not lose hours of gameplay. So let's restore. So the wizard came back from his journey. He's sleeping right now. And we have everything except the... What did I write down? Uh, that's supposed to be something else. That's supposed to be, uh, it was a timer running? No, it isn't. All right, so we're missing the feather from the eagle, uh, the glass bottle. Oh, and then the house, the bear house. The bear was there. So let's see if we can go into the bear house to get the thimble, which will in turn let us get the dew. Yep, come on. And then also, yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. Let's go do that one first. We haven't figured out how to get the bee honey. So we can grab this feather on the way back. So we'll basically save before we interact with any item. I think that's a, a good plan. Make sure we don't fall off the cliff here. Okay, so we'll go directly south all the way. And what else do we need? There's a glass bottle. I don't think we were able to ever get the glass bottle. Or maybe we were, I'm just, I'm just misremembering how to get it. Should be thieves here, maybe? No? Okay. Alright, let's go inside. There is no Time to go in. Okay. Get the porridge. That way if we need to feed the wizard, we can do that. You warn you I think that's it, right? Yeah. Okay, let's open up the drawer. You close. Now let's get the thimble. You can And I think that's it, right? You're cl there. Yeah. Okay, those are the two Feels. items we need from that. Feel feels Oops. Close. Trying to move. Trying to move. Alright, so we have the bear house items. Okay, let's save that. Uh, bear house. Bear house. 17, 17. Alright, so what we need to do next is... Okay, we got the bear house. Yeah, we got that. Oh, wait, we need to fill the thimble full of flower dew or something. Oops, I forgot to grab my items. Holding this. Okay. The dews. Yes. All right, so we have that. Uh, what else do we have? What else do we have? Uh, there's a web that we can't get into yet. I think we might have everything else. Oh, we're missing the sand, so let's go grab that. That, I think, is just if you just keep going. Oh, shit. Yeah, I can't figure out how to get the honey just yet. All right. Scoop up. Now we got sand. Let's save it. Uh, 1739. So we'll just say desert. Dessert. Nah. Let's English this properly. Okay. So we have the sand. We have the morning dew. We have the thimble. We have the porridge. We haven't figured out how to get the bee honey yet. Or the glass bottle. We kind of know how to solve the bard puzzle. We just need to play it properly. Uh, can I try throwing sand at this? I don't know if that'll work. You no, you can't. Yeah, I don't know what I would use on... You can't... Yeah, I don't know. Okay, I think we got everything we're going to get. Let's see, what do we got? Uh, mistletoe, guitar, acorn, snakeskin. Alright, so we got... We got the bear place. Got the fish. 
Pretty sure we got the fish. We got the mistletoe. Acorns. Spider web, we haven't figured out. Library. We're good on that. I think that's it. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so I think if we just make it make our way back. We should be able to create a potion. And we'll go ahead and snag the bird feather on the way back. And that should catch us up on everything. Timer's still green, so we don't have to worry about the wizard watching us. He's still asleep. Alright, let's save it right here. Uh, front of house, 1826. Oh, I don't have the... I didn't get all my items, did I? No, I didn't. Of course not. We have to go back inside the house and get the meat. Okay, let's go back up the stairs. He's still asleep, which is good. Retrieve. Let's retrieve. Let's just go ahead and take all. And we'll save it again. Uh, all items that we know. Once the wizard gets close to waking up, we gotta hide all the magical items. Everything that's highlighted, if we have it when he comes back or uh, wakes up, uh, he kills us, basically. And we have to start over. Come on. Make your way down the stairs. It's not that difficult. Okay, I think we can get two feathers. One from the chicken, which I think we've already got. Yeah. Okay. I'm here but lurking. Alright, D. Thanks for the lurk. Give him the meat. Get the bird feather. That's an Alright, retrieve bird feather. Bird feather. 1943. Okay, I think we're good on everything else. So now... Feet. Feet work faster, yes. Alright, so we have to figure out the... So let's look at the book and look at the symbols. Oops. What do we got? Okay. Uh, how did I write this down? Hold on. One second. Let's do the other side, maybe. So... Okay. Dash. Another dash. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Dash. Another dash. And then... There we go. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we have all the symbols. The, the red... Okay. Carefully ex All right, let's pause this for a second so we can note what we're numbering these. So that'll be one from left to right. What is that? Hold on. Hmm, interesting. Okay. That will be two. Squiggly in the middle will be number three. And the bow and arrow thing will be four. And the dash will be five. Alright, so it should be three, four, 
five, four, one, two, oh wait, and then five again, and then one, four, three, five, uh, one. Okay. I think we got this. Okay, so three, four, five, four, five, one, four, three, five, one. There we go. Okay, we're in. Alright, we do need the key. Oh, we have the key. So it's un... Uh, let's save it. Save it right here. Trap door. Okay. And let's go open this up. Grab the wand and hopefully you cast a spell. The oak cabinet using the brass key. Okay. Inside, you you take it with you. Okay. Let's go downstairs. Okay, got to be very careful if there's a cat on the ledge cuz he will throw you down. Okay. You pick up the bottle labeled ground fish scales and okay. take it with you. Okay, fish scales, some toad you pick stuff. Up the bottle labeled toadstool powder and take it with you. You can't you You pick up the bottle labeled saffron and take it with you. All right, one more item back here. You pick up the bottle labeled nightshade juice and take it with you. Okay, I think that's it. Most of the bottle most of the bottles are mo mo most of mo 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 your your that's it right oh you pick up the bottle oh. labeled toad I missed one and take it with you okay so let's put a lab lab 2058 i really hate this time mechanic not a fan you take a okay covered with gold trimmings you eager most yep so we've read through all of this. I've written down all the spells here. So... We can just run past it. Uh, what can we do? So what do we have? So we need something to make us... Um... Enhancing musical talent. That's what I need. How do I enhance musical talent? Deep sleep, teleport, storm, musical talent. Here we go. Okay. So it says sand uh, plus flask with seawater. And then soil. Um, where did I miss soil? I'd gotten soil before. Uh, hold on. I had it before. I must have just missed it. Let's see. I think it's at the bear house. Yeah, it's at the bear house. Shit. Alright, I missed that. That's fine. We can go back and get it. So, uh, sand plus flask with seawater. So, I think I have an empty flask, right? Hmm, I thought I had an empty flask. Within the glass. Fish. The cream. Oh. Inside the jar. The nightshade toad is... No. I think it's a glass bottle, too. Yeah. Weird. Like, I got the glass bottle the first time. But then I missed it the second time. I think it's in a hole in a rock somewhere. Right? I think. Maybe. Uh, hold on a second. Uh... What am I missing? Yeah. Oh, here we go. You tore this empty page from the journal and used it to make a list of any spell ingredients you'll need. Oh, can I actually use this? Oh, nice. Nice. I didn't know I could do that. I didn't know I could do that. Yeah, salt mistletoe. So where's the one for... Okay, so a spoonful of mud. Okay. So if I enhance my musical talent, I can play the guitar, the guitar, at the tavern, and then take it to the bard and get that picture. 
That's kind of where I'm at right now. So let's go do that. Cup with seawater, mud, toadstool powder. Got all those, except I don't have the seawater. And I didn't get the bottle either, so we gotta go back and do that. That sucks. Uh, so that is a cat. He will knock us over and kill us. So if we just keep going back and forth, he'll eventually disappear. Or maybe not. Really? Am I stuck? Maybe it's time based? He's still there! Okay, I don't have a spray bottle. There we go. Alright, it's gone. Okay, so I need to get the, the seawater. Let's save it here, just in case we need to come back. All right, let's go get the seawater with our cup. All right, we have a cup. Let's go get the glass bottle, and that sh oh shoot, never mind. It is yellow. The room is. We might need to re. Kind of want to restart it, but. Hmm. Well, first, let's put up all our stuff. This dude's probably hungry again. Hide all. Okay. And I guess chores? Maybe? Let's see. Oh, no, 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 hold on. I gotta put the, uh, the wand back in. Yep, gotta put the wand back in. The wand is missing, he'll kill me. Okay. Uh, do I need to lock it with the key? Let's see if that works. Your feet. Probably gonna die. Let's see if we can make it down here. It's gonna turn red here in a minute. Oh, come on. You scan the book. No, 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 no. Close the trap door. Quickly. Okay. Let's pop this wand back. Oh, we're probably screwed. Oops, shit. You try to. Oh God. You unlock. All right. Let's put the wand back in. You careful. The cap. All right, then let's run. See if we can pop, put this key underneath the bed before we die. Go, go, go! Run, run, run! Hide. Hide all. All right, we're good. So now we just need to wait for the inevitable. Stupid cat. Damn cat. Yeah, this is time mechanic. Not a huge fan of. But I hope that's only just like the very first part of this. And technically, we're almost one fourth of the way through. We're close to 50 points here. Here he comes. What's up, bro? I am ravenous. Fix me something immediately. All right, let's give him the bread next. Retrieve. Okay, we got bread. And then next we have porridge. So we got time. <clears throat> oh, come on, get down there. I, yeah, I do need to figure out how to get through the web. Nanan is impatiently waiting for his and food. how to. Uh, as drums as gnarled fingers on the table. 
You'd better feed yeah. him quickly, or dire consequences may result. I'm trying to think what else there is. There's beer. Okay, have some bread, dude. Nom, 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 nom. Let's talk. Uh, master? What is it? Speak quickly, boy. If I may know, uh, how long have I been here? The better part of 18 years. Will I be turning 18 soon? Yes, quite soon. I have something very special planned for you that day. He's going oh. to eat us. The story from your predecessor's journal gives you a good idea of the meaning behind Manannan's words. You barely managed to hold back a shiver. Manannan does... Oh, doesn't want to talk anymore. So let's just do chores until he leaves. Yeah, so how do I get through the spider web? How do I get the bee honey stuff? Cactus plus a knife. Cactus juice in a bowl. Ocean water plus a bowl. I'll light, light the brazier. Uh, the brazier. Light the brazier. Mud, toadstool powder. Blow into brew. Yeah, so I think musical talent's the first one we should do. Deep sleep, I don't know what that's gonna do. Teleport randomly, that doesn't sound good at all. Talk to creatures. Uh, do, fur, fish scales, reptile skin, and feather. We have all that. Uh, I don't think we wanna fly, so we're not gonna do that. And we have two things of fur, one for the dog, one for the cat. So we can do both of those. So I guess we're just chilling. I guess chores? Maybe. Let's just do all the chores. Eventually he'll leave us alone, right? Can I go in here? Yep. He's leaving on a journey. Okay. Weird. I guess he was just checking to see if I was up to anything. Good job, Gwydion. Don't you remember? Okay. Still just waiting. There we go. I have decided to take a journey. Okay, let's save it. So twenty seven nineteen. So we need a glass bottle, and we need seawater. <clears throat> Grab all our stuff. I think we're gonna leave the feather here. Right, I think that's a good idea, maybe. All right, let's get out of here. Go get some seawater. Plus soil, plus glass bottle thing. Oh god, he, the path tracking on that staircase always messes up for some reason. Can we speed this up just a hair? Just a hair. There we go. Okay, glass bottle should be down one more screen. Oh shit! <laughs> Watch your step. Oops. Oh wait a minute. Yeah, I don't have my items. Get my items. Try not to fall off the cliff this time. Oh, 
Uh, retrieve. Take all. Let's see what happens if I... Mm, let's see. Second journey. 2738. Okay. Let's see if I get stopped with the eagle feather. Seems like that was the one thing he would proc on. Let's see if he comes back. I'm assuming not, because it's green, but... No? Alright, we're good. Okay, let's go to the left. Well, gotta get through this. Okay, keep going. Nope, no robbers. No robbers. And go up one. Should be a hole in a rock here. Oh, one more. There we go. Alright, we tried the spoon. Uh, sorry. You can't, you, you. It might, it might. Hmm. Try as you. Can't reach the bottle? You can't. Hmm. Uh. The hell? Did I miss? Thought I could. Maybe the feather? You can. I thought I could use that you here. Can. You. You. Thought I could use this stuff here. Weird. You can. You. What am I missing? What am I missing? I thought I had the item I needed. This is what happens when you play through a second time. <laughs> you tend to, uh... Uh... Miss items. You're ca huh. What did I do last time? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. What am I doing? Uh... Oh, oops, I did... So, I missed the empty flask somehow. So, let's go... Right here, I think. Yeah. I have all my items. Yeah, I missed a flask down in the laboratory, somehow. Uh, let's go down here. Go back. Do the door code. You quickly pull. Oh, nice. Thank God, it doesn't make you do it again. You only have to do it once. Okay, I'm missing an empty flask. Where's my empty flask at? You there we go. That's what I was missing. So the only thing I'm actually missing is the seawater and the soil. Damn cat. Damn cat. Oh god. This is so repetitive. Killing time for me here. There we go. Right, let's get out of here. Okay, let's save it here. Second journey, 2847. Alright, so we gotta go to the beach, get water. Go to the bear house, get soil. up. Okay. 
And they want you to waste as much time as possible climbing down from this mountain. Don't they? Alright, go straight down. Family's leaving. Hurry along there, Mildred. <sighs> yes, George. Mama! My button's not done up! Button? Haven't you taught him anything, Mildred? It's a bit difficult for him, George. Okay. Slow it down just a tad. You take a hat. Okay, we got the soil. Let's go get the water. Okay. Well, is that a nude? Nude person? <laughs> a nude mermaid? Okay, so we got the empty flask. Fill it with seawater. You fill. Okay. Save it right here. Thirty zero seven. All right. Got the soil. Got the seawater. We should be able to make this spell that increases our musical talent. That'll enable us to play in the tavern. Get the guitar, give it to the bard, and the bard will give us a pitcher of water. Let's get out of here. Don't fall, don't fall. Whatever you do, Gwydion, do not fall off the cliff. Okay. Just hug the corner here so we don't worry about falling off. Okay, now we still. Oops. We need to get the wand and then cast a spell. So let's go do that. You try to. Well, oh, right, I gotta lock it. Or unlock it. You un. Inside, you take it with. Okay, back downstairs. All right, sand plus flask. Oops, that doesn't do anything. It's fine. Uh, all right, so let's save it here. Thirty-one twenty-three. Sand plus the flask in the powder. So let's put the sand. The sand? You're carrying a hand. Uh. You hold a small ball. Thought I had. This. The dry. No. You're carrying a handful of sand. So I put sand plus. Alright, let's look at this again. You. Enhancing musical talent. Add one handful of hot dry sand to a glass filled with seawater. Place one handful of soil to the flask. Oh, okay. So sand plus... Alright, I got it, I got it, I got it. Where's the sand? Let's combine that with this. You add a handful of... Okay. And then... You're carrying a... Let's add this... To the flask. Where's it at? There it is. You add a handful of fertile soil to the flask. Okay. Uh, wave a magic wand over the flask. Okay. There we go. Look at that. Our first spell. You shouldn't Oops. try making up your own spells. Well, shit. Uh. Oh, I guess I have to do it here. I have to do it here. Let's try that again. You add a handful. You add a. Ha you look. Huh? Did that work? You shouldn't try making up your own spells. Uh, what? What am I doing wrong here? 
you to. Okay, what does it say? Cup with sea water. No, no, that's not it. Flask with sea water. Hot, dry sand. Fertile soil. What? I'm not understanding. Am I not supposed to do it it's here? It's not. It's not why. It's not. The jar is. It's not wise. Oh, I guess I, I have to do it right here. Okay. You add. A, you add a. Okay, and then what? You look at. Uh, I don't want. Uh, shake the contents to mix them thoroughly and then wave. Okay. So maybe I gotta shake it. You shake the flask. There we go. <laughs> until they are thoroughly mixed. Okay, and then wand. You wave. Then maybe I gotta recite the spell here. With trepidation. There we go. To recite the enhancing musical talent incantation. Earth bearing fruit from one's toiling hands, with patience of timeless, swift sifting sands, swirl through mm. endurance, soaked salty with seas, permit me to please all musically. You feel the contents of the flask stir slightly as you finish the incantation. Alright. So let's change this at 3210. Uh, musical talent, 3210. So now we can go to the tavern. So this damn cat is not there. In which case, we gotta... Alright, thank god. He's gone. Alright, let's make our way over to the tavern. I wonder if we can have more than one spell active at a time. My guess is not. We can always try it again later. I did forget to get cactus juice. So there's that. Don't fall. Don't fall. Okay. Watch out for any robbers. There we go. Okay. Let's try it again. Now that we got our musical talents enhanced try. for her pleasure. Oh, maybe I need to drink the bottle. Yeah, I need to drink the bottle, I think. Alright, let's drink the bottle. Let's save it first. 21. Oh, I put Talon. 3321. Let's drink the bottle. Down the hatch. You start to feel creative, inspired, and ready to play your heart out. You might say you feel musically inspired. Inspiration point. It's like D&D. &D. Roll a D6. All right, here we go. I'm ready to play. Do it. Oh, it's beautiful. Dang it. But the soul left within me is my own. Watch that Disney movie here. Touch me with song. My pain <laughs> is gone. I joined the channel and I walk into the Disney singing part of the game. What's up, Nyxt? I was lurking in your channel for a little bit uh, earlier. Still playing Gungrave, I see. Yeah, you walked into the Disney part. Sing it if you know the words. Sure the best performance I've heard. 
When was the last one? There wasn't a last one. That was the first performance I've ever heard. My daddy told me all about the last boy who played here. When was <laughs> that? About 17 years ago. Anyhow, you all played right. so well just so now. So that should solve no reason not to let you have the, thing. the bard puzzle. Because now I have the... What, is this a loot? Is that what it's called? A loot? The loot looks old. Yeah, okay. Uh, how am I? Oh, I'm doing good. Doing good. Uh, this is the third King's Quest. I don't like this little time mechanic thing here. It's like it. I don't know. It's just weird. You have to be back at the house and hide all your magic items by the time the wizard gets back. So it's kind of... It prevents you from exploring the game, which I feel like is a big part of point-and-click adventure games. Like, you go to a puzzle, you can't figure it out, you grab some items, you look at it some more. This one, it's like you're on a timer. At least at the beginning. I don't know if the entire game is like this. But yeah, I mean, I'm doing good so far. Yeah, it's, it's really limiting and just kind of, like, frustrating. So I actually started over from scratch, which wasn't, like, terrible. I lost maybe, like, 20 minutes. And I just, you know, efficiently got the items and did what I could in the time allotted. Because every time you come back to the house, he's hungry. And there's only so many food items you can give him before you eventually run out of food items. I think he kills you at that point. So, okay, so we got the bard thing figured out. Uh, Gungrave won't go away. Yeah, yeah. Huh, I didn't realize Gungrave was that long of a game. But the question is, are you having fun playing it? <laughs> run, run, run. Random robbers. Okay, so let's go talk to the bard. Give him his guitar. Here you go, buddy. Boom! Holy crap! This is it! My answer! The key to unlocking the creative force inside! Hey, the creative force inside. You guys are just in time for the singing portion! <laughs> What's going on, Sinatar? And Raiders? You guys came just in time. The future's Ooh! Ooh, girl! Hit that high note! Hit that high note! Um, yeah, we're playing King's Quest 3. It's a pity you didn't have any talent potion left to give him. The, uh, AGD, like, fan remake, I guess? I guess? Yeah. Why? Well, I hope I never have to sit through that Twitch Sings ad again. <laughs> yeah, so this is the, uh, the fan remake of King's Quest 3. So they've taken some uh, heavy liberties with the actual storyline from Sierra. So I played King's Quest 1 and 2, which uh, AGD remade. The first one followed the storyline more or less. The second one, kind of, sort of not. And this third one's just completely non-canon. But yeah, so our goal here is to like try to play through all the uh, King's Quest games. I've had it on Steam forever, but I tried to play King's Quest 3, the original one. And I just, I don't know if I'm ready for it. There's EGA graphics, PC speaker music. It's, it's, it didn't age well. It didn't age well. But welcome, guys. Welcome. Sorry you had to hear that singing. It was completely necessary to the story. You peer into the empty picture. At the bottom, the word Vandalfmir has been etched. Vandalfmir. Yeah, the weird thing, the weird mechanic about this game is that it has a time mechanic. And I don't know if that persists throughout the entire game, but while it's green, so I've been kidnapped by a wizard, and every once in a while he goes on a journey somewhere, and uh, the time turns green. When it turns yellow, that means he's on his way back, so I have to make it back to the house before he, uh, before he travels back. And on top of that, I have to hide all my magic items underneath the bed, which is just, I don't know, it's just kind of weird. Uh, EGA used to be all the rage. Oh, yeah. EGA was, like, you know, the shit back in the day. Yeah, the VGA fan remake, Sino. Or, Sino. Yep. Yeah, it was, uh, King's Quest 1, 2, and 3. I... Oh, I didn't die. <laughs> okay. I was about to say. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, yeah, the first three? Four, maybe? King's Quest were text parsers? I think VGA graphics may have been introduced in 4 or 5, but I'm not quite sure. Uh, okay, so we did the musical talent spell. <coughs> Zork 1 is a te uh, text parser. Hold on. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, 
Yeah, it's Zork. Um, I didn't play the text version of Zork, but there was a, wasn't there a 3D version of Zork I remember playing back in the day? It was like full motion video, kind of mist looking. Yeah. Well, if you played Zork the text parser, what about, uh, what was it, Leather Goddess of Phobos? Do you guys remember that? It was like a semi-erotic text game? <laughs> it was odd, for sure. And then, of course, there's uh, Hitchhiker's God to the Galaxy. Uh, okay, what do we got? What do we got and what do we need? We need to look at our spells here. Okay, so to talk to animals, I think, is the next thing we need to do. We need a Thimble of Dew, a Tuft of Fur, which we got, Fish Scales, which we got, Reptile Skill, which we got, and Feathers. So I think we're good. Let's get back over. 42! Yes! The answer to life, the universe, and everything. EGA and NGA are monochrome graphics with black and the color green. Do you guys remember CGA? Uh, one of the streamers I follow, uh, I think her name is Dialid, if I'm pronouncing that right. She was playing this game called Hacker that uses CGA graphics. And it's probably like the two worst colors in the world, right? It's like bright, bright blue and purple. It's pretty awful looking. Okay, uh, let's go, let's see if we can do this other spell. Yeah, so AGD has, well, let's pause it, we're at the house. AGD didn't remake any of the other King's Quest games outside of the first three. So if we beat this game, from here on out, we're doing the regular Sierra games. So we're, so we're stuck with, if it's EGA graphics, if it's, you know, Sound Blaster 16 sound, I don't know. I haven't really uh, done any research to see when King's Quest becomes somewhat modernized. We can actually fall down here and it doesn't hurt us. Yeah, it doesn't hurt us. CJ and original hardware could look relatively nice with some trickery. Oh, really? Hmm. Had a Tandy. <laughs> 1000 SL after that. I think it was EGA maybe. So my first computer, well, if you don't count, my, I had a Commodore 64, then I had an Amiga 500. But then when I got into IBM, the PC realm, I had a 386SX, and I remember playing Leisure Suit Larry 2 on that computer. CJ's better than 4K if done right. Yeah. <laughs> well, I found out what happened in Parkan. I picked up some kind of glitched item that's permanently bugged out my inventory, corrupted the save. What the fuck? Ah, oh, that pissed me off. How many hours do you have in that game, Sin? Alright, let's do let's do the the spell. CJ graphics was the main graphics mode back then. Four colors from sixteen at a time was shown. Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. I remember we were seeing EGA on Leisure Suit Larry 2, and I was just like, the future. <laughs> yep, back in the day, 386SX. I think it was a Packard Bell. I just remember it was uh it was not fast. It uh it didn't play Doom very well. I had to play it in like low res, like super 8-bit pixely version, and uh, my dad had a 486DX, and we would uh, run a serial cable between our two rooms, and I would invite my friends over and we'd play a Doom Deathmatch over a serial cable. Those were the days. Okay, uh, talk to creatures, I need a Thimble of Dew. Let's actually look at the spell. Musical talent, brewing a storm, no. Invisible, no. Turning another into a cat? No. Deep sleep, teleportation, flying like an eagle, or a f no. Understand the language of creatures. This is what we need. Uh, thimble into a bull. Okay. I remember playing Ultima 3 Exodus on 386. It was amazing. Tandy was a big thing back then. Packard Bell came, I think, right when 486SX25 came out. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. I once compiled an early Linux kernel on a 386. Took over a day. <laughs> yeah, that's, that sounds about right. Yeah, DX33. I think we had a DX33. I'm not quite sure. Yeah. Any 2000 coding? Jesus. Alright, uh, thimble full of dew into a bowl. Let's do that. Yeah, I really do, I really do miss my, uh, my Commodore 64, though. You gonna, add the thimble full of dew to the bowl. I'm gonna have to download an emulator at some point and like relive some of the classics. Uh, what else do we have? 
Yeah, like I think, uh, was it Red, was it Red Alert? Mission Impossible, those were good games. Mule, I loved Mule. I didn't get suckered into the DX game, I wasn't doing advanced math. <laughs> oh, Cyrix. Didn't Cyrix computers not have a, uh, a floating point uh, thingy? I remember my buddy bought a Cyrix uh, desktop. And I remember, I don't think it had floating point. That was back when you, like, you would buy a computer through a catalog. <laughs> and you'd have to mess around with jumpers and all of that. Uh, one tuft of fur from any animal into a bowl. Yeah, no math co-processor. Co Damn. I can't believe I remembered that. My memory is shit, but I somehow remember that. Alright, uh... Dog hair. So let's do dog hair. We have cat hair and dog hair. Dog hair into... Pot. You add the. Okay. What else? Would you believe me if I had a PC from 1992 in my living room? What do you have a 1992 PC, 1992 PC doing in your living room? I'm guessing um, compatibility issues with certain games. Like most games seem to run well with DOSBox. I haven't had too many issues with uh, King's Quest or Space Quest or. Um, what are the other ones? Oh, Maniac Mansion, of course. Had no issues. One of my favorite games. Hey, Lucidius, thank you. Thank you for the uh, follow. Uh, add one rounded spoonful of ground fish scales. All right, fish scales are right here. Oh no, that didn't work. You shouldn't try making up your own spells. Hmm. I like the follow graphic. Good old Monkey Island. Oh, man. Monkey Island. Classic. Classic game. I first played Monkey Island on... I think it was the Amiga. And I think back then we didn't really have internet or game facts. Like, we had a couple of local BBSs, but if you got stuck on a point-and-click game, that was just... That was just it. You had to figure it out. Ask the neighbors. You had no choice. I played it on Sega CD. Yeah, that's right, they did release it on Sega CD. Yeah, they also released, uh, what was it, Escape from Monkey Island, I think, on PS2. But I don't think they made any other Monkey Islands for any other consoles. I found it in the metal trash and it still works, but I need an AT adapter for the keyboard to figure out what is on the hard drive. Jesus, yeah. I'm surprised you can't find an AT adapter on uh, Amazon. I called a 1900 number to find that damn pot in the kitchen. Dude, I got stuck on Maniac Mansion. Uh, every time uh, Weird Ed or someone would capture me and throw me in jail or in prison, I thought that was it. Like, you were screwed. There was no way out. So I would restart Maniac Mansion several times. And then uh, my neighbor finally told me that there was like a brick that you could push to open the freaking door up. So I'm like, God damn. God damn. Yeah, I am not, I'm not very good at point and click. Uh, 20 bucks? Oh, yeah. No. No thanks. Uh, okay. What What did we do wrong here? We need to... Hold on. Nope. Understanding the language of creatures. Add one rounded spoon... Oh, wait. Ground fish scales. Okay. I added a fish. This is... Glass container. You fish scales. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. We've got this. Do. Let's put the do. Yeah, I'm not very good at point and click games, so I will occasionally use hints. It's either that or add the th get stuck on the same puzzle for hours as I try to figure out video game logic. This is dog fur, right? Yeah. Dog fur? You add. Okay. Fish scales. You measure. There we go. What else do we got? I spent months in college on Stone Keep. Never could finish it. Oh, Stone Keep. Yeah. Um. I watched my dad play Stone Keep, but uh, I, I never, I never got to play it myself. But I do love dungeon crawlers. Lands of Lore was probably one of my my favorite. I did like uh, was it Dungeon Explorer or Dungeon Master? I can't remember what it was. The spell system was just super kind of convoluted. I knew how to throw a fireball in Dungeon Explorer or Dungeon Master. I can't remember what the hell it's called. 
I remember renting Stonekeep from Club Cub Foods back when they let you rent PC games and I forgot to return the hardcover book it came with. I still have the hardcover book. Dun oh, yeah, I think it's Dungeon Master, right? Dungeon Master was like the traditional uh, first-person like dungeon crawler that had the weird symbols that you would have to put together to make a spell. Yeah, I just remember dying of hunger a lot of times. Oh, Ultima Underworld. Yeah, that was a game I have not played. I know what you're talking about, though. Yeah, Dungeon Master. Yep, that game was uh, difficult. I do not think I ever beat the game. Uh, one small feather from any bird. I'm going to save this for just a second. Because I have an eagle feather and I have a chicken feather. Let's do uh, feather time. Let's do feather time. Uh, let's try the chicken. Chicken? It's a small bird. Eagle's a big bird, right? Shit. Alright, well, good thing I saved. You shouldn't try making up your own spells. Or maybe I read the directions wrong. Drop one small feather from any bird into the bowl. Alright, so maybe not that feather. Oops. Let's do this again. Oh, that didn't work. I'm missing something. You shouldn't try making up. Do I have other feathers? You hold a small ball. Cat fur, no. Uh. Hmm. The eagle's tail feather makes you wonder what it would be like to soar up. Uh, okay. The chicken feather is small and light. No more than a piece of fluff. I mean, it says it's small. What did I forget? All right, thimbleful of dew, check. Tuft of fur, check. Grr, ground fish skin. Oh, oops, reptile skin. Reptile skin. Uh, is it this? The yeah. What am I doing? What am I doing? Here we go. Okay. Add the snakes. All right, now let's save it and make. Oh shit! It's turning yellow, so that means the wizard's gonna be back soon. So we gotta, we gotta hurry this up. Ugh. Bird feather. You add the chick. Okay, what else, what else, what else? Mix the contents with your hands until they become doughy. The reason why I have my mouse up top is as long as I have this little top menu uh, highlighted, it stops time. Recite the following. All right, let's mix it. You mix the bowl. Okay, and then re recite spell. With trepidation, you prepare there to we recite go. the understanding the language of creatures incantation. Okay, so that worked. Fur of beast and reptile skin, with scale and feather too thrown in. Grant me sense to comprehend animals of water, earth, and wind. Sing it. Oop, did that work? Have you played through any of the Heroes Quest games? Uh, I don't believe so. I remember, wasn't there... A hero quest that was based on the board game, maybe? I vaguely remember playing a hero quest that had music but didn't have any sound, but I didn't, I didn't get very far on it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, recite it, and then wave a magic wand over the bowl. Jesus. This is convoluted. You wave the magic wand over the bowl. Okay. And now what? Separate dough into two pieces and place in your ears. Inside the bowl is okay. Uh, all right, let's save it. Uh, chicken feather, chicken feather. Thirty-eight, twenty-four, chicken feather. All right, I think I think we're good. We need to actually get out of here and oh. Oh, you have to finish the spell. You shouldn't try making up your own spells. Son of a bitch. It's a point-and-click adventure game from Sierra. Heroes Quest. Let me look that up. I'll have to look that up later. Heroes Quest. I've heard a quest for glory. Oh, originally called Heroes Quest. Okay, yes, yes, I have heard of Quest for Glory. Um, fun fact, AGD actually remade the second Quest for Glory. They didn't remake the first one. They remade the second one only. Yeah, that's another series I do want to uh, go through eventually. Though I think I saw... 
I thought I saw Chubo playing through one of the later ones, and uh, I think he ended up having to quit because it's, the mechanics were just really, like, fucked, <laughs> basically. All right, wave of magic wands separate into two. You carefully divide the mixture into two pieces and place the dough pieces in your ears. You will now be able to understand the speech of the animals, birds, and fish. You will not, however, be able to speak to them. The spell will last as long as the dough is in your ears. I hope this is not temporary. I hope this is not temporary dough. Uh, animal talk. Did you ever look up Pushing Up Roses videos on the Sierra game series? No, Pushing Up Roses. Yeah, quit on Quest for Glory 5. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, because it was... It was it had some weird mechanics. Pushing up roses. No, I'm gonna check I gotta check all these out. Pushing up roses. Yeah, I really like point and click adventure games. I just haven't played a whole lot of the older ones. Outside of like the big ones, right? Leisure Suit Larry, Space Quest, Now King's Quest, Monkey Island. Uh I think this is good. I think this is good. Yeah, yeah, Quest for Glory 5. Uh there was like a, a leveling up mechanic or something. You could pick classes. It was... It seemed hardcore. I finished five on stream. Sinna. Glutton for punishment, man. <laughs> uh, Quest of Infamy. Yeah, so... Quest of Infamy... Uh, was made... So, I'm... I, I only know the history of this. Don't think I'm just, like, this huge, like... <laughs> fan remake nerd here. I only know this because I was just looking up Sierra games. But, so... King's Quest... They remade it. AGD remade it. And then this other company called Infamous remade it. But then Infamous decided they wanted to make their own games. Like their own original games. And they made the Quest for Infamy series. So, yeah. Like, video game history. <laughs> yeah, so the people that made Quest for Infamy also remade... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I forgot about that. Seems like black cats really bring bad luck. Yeah, if the cat's there, he knocks you off. So you kind of have to just exit and enter the screen until he disappears. So let's see if we can do that. Yeah, I actually have Quest for Infamy on Steam, but I, I didn't hear too many good things about it. There we go, you're gone. She gets into the solutions of a game. So only watch her videos if you finish the game on your own. Oh, really? Oh, wait, so she talks about, like, the... Uh, the video game like logic behind certain puzzles or she just posts solutions I got uh, I got it in a bundle for a dollar or something to why not yeah exactly for a dollar like I got it for free and I'm just like uh I'll play it eventually like I'll generally play all my games though I've gotten into the habit of not playing games I don't like anymore I used to like if I paid for a game like even if I hated it I would play it now I'm much more uh, discerning, I guess. Because I just... I don't have a lot of time to play video games, and why spend time playing something that's really crappy? Even if you paid for it. Just lesson learned. And I also stopped buying so many Steam games, too. Alright, so we have all of our magic items out of our inventory. So when he comes back, he won't kill us. So let's do... Uh, House 25, or 3925. I watched Braxton Wise uh, play Quest for Infamy recently. Not very well polished. Yeah, it's more of a um, a parody game, I guess, right? Kind of makes fun of point-and-click adventures. But it's just not a very good game in itself. Life is too short. Yeah, life is too short. Yeah, I'll eventually bust out Quest for Infamy. But I can't guarantee I will finish playing it. Yeah, last couple of games I finished uh, offline were a story for my uncle, which I got for free, which was that uh, was okay. I didn't really like the the movement mechanics. It was kind of cool. It was kind of like almost like a par parkour type of game. And uh, what else? Tormentum, Dark Sorrow, which was a point and click adventure game, but super super easy. Like really really, I didn't even need a guidebook for this game. And I'm like a mental midget when it comes to point-and-click uh, video game logic. But I was able to just beat the game straight through. Oh, shit. Wait. Oh, oops, oops. I forgot. His wand. How dare you enter my laboratory? 
Sorry. Yeah, so first off, uh, I didn't put his wand up, which he would have killed me for. Second off, I didn't close the trap door. Caught you snooping around. Yeah, this now game is kind of but dust. It's kind of finicky. Alright, so let's go back. Yeah, you have to leave the house exactly as he left it. Uh cat. Cat, cat, cat. Alright. Gone. So first, close the trap door. You quick Okay, second. Put the wand up. You carefully third close the it cabinet door locks as you shut it there we go okay now that that's there let's put up all our shit and then await our master's return oh we gotta go upstairs our bedroom's upstairs uh, she talks about the game logic of a, or the logic of a game the story behind it the game itself and the solution the ending to the game and her personal opinions oh, okay nice pushing up roses I'll have to check it out Thanks for the suggestion. Yeah, it's always interesting to hear about the uh, development of a game and like why they chose to do a game a certain way or what things were left on the cutting room floor. All right, we're done. Oh, Assassin's Creed Unity. Yeah, I saw it was. Uh, I honestly only played the first Assassin's Creed, and like I liked it, but I didn't love it. It was it was very repetitive, which I heard they fixed in future. Uh, you know, sequels, but uh, it just wasn't, just not really my type of game. Alright, waiting for Master. Waiting for Master. I'm not looking forward to the summer sale. Yeah, neither am I. Neither am I. There are a couple of games I do want to play, but they're mostly like older titles. Probably the the only new title I'm interested in playing, and this is just from like, being a Dark Soul. Oh, what, what the hell? He killed me. He's killing me. What happened? You'll create no magic around me, Gwydion. What? Oh, damn it. Because I have the dough in my ears. This game is so finicky. They're all repetitive, but AC1 is the worst offender. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I played it because, like, you know, at the time, the, the gameplay was kind of cool and new. But, yeah, very repetitive. And it wasn't, like, super super challenging or anything but uh, yeah the one modern game I kind of want to play is Sekiro but I am uh, taking a break from really difficult games like I just finished Bloodborne that took fucking forever Orphan of Cause just wrecked my shit like 70 times in a row uh, Animal Talk shit hold on Feather Time I think I gotta go back. I can't start a spell. Because if I start a spell and I don't finish it, then it, it kills me, right? Let's see. Yeah, it kills me. Okay. Yeah. So let's you restore. Try making up this is why you spells. save scum. You have multiple saves here. Alright, so we can't actually cast a spell yet. Yeah, we can't cast a spell yet. So we gotta basically like sit here. It's not for everyone. AC2 and AC4 were good. Oh, okay. AC4 was quite nice, actually. Which one was AC4? Was that the you one with the, the the pirate ship on the front? You think this is hard? That's just the tutorial. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, Bloodborne was unexpectedly difficult. Like, I came from Demon Souls and all the Dark Soul games. Played them. They were difficult, but like they weren't like super, super difficult to the point where I was tearing my hair out. You carefully... Uh, Bloodborne reminded me uh, about my shitty parrying skills. Okay, let's go here. The cab. So let's see if I save. What at 39:25 is when he comes. Okay. So I gotta put up all my stuff. Oops. I keep thinking my bedroom's in the kitchen. Speaking of pirates, anyone remember Art of War at Sea? Mm, I don't remember that. Black Flag, yeah. Black Flag looked really interesting. I really, I always wanted to try the multiplayer of Assassin's Creed. It sounded kind of cool. Everyone's trying to assassinate one, or uh, every person has one individual target they're trying to go for. 
Art of War. You have Oops. Oops. Hold on a second. Deposit everything. Hide. Hide all. There we go. Alright, now we just kind of had to sit here for a minute. Because we can't go anywhere. Yeah, Art of War. What was Art of War? Pirates. Yeah, Pirates was a great game. Man, I love that game. Pirates. Oops. Pirates game. Old video game. I'll just type in old video game. I type in Pirates and of course the baseball team comes up. I can't play anything that takes fast reflexes. My fingers won't do it. Yeah, I'm, I've gotten this to the same way. It's... Bloodborne was uh, slightly traumatizing because I just could not react fast enough. Or I would react too fast. Like, the timing to get a parry off on some of those combos was just ridiculous. Ridiculous. Art of War. There we go. Art of War. Main idea of Art of War was to down enemy ships and then raid their ships as well. Uh, is this it? That looks like it. Probably. Yeah. Oh, that says Ancient Art of War. That's probably not it. Art of War CGA. Alright, so it's yellow, so that means Master's coming back. Oh, maybe that is it. Crazy Ivan went crazy in a war of attrition. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Art of War. You need to just lube up your hands. I'm telling you, you gotta service the master. The master is not happy. Do you see any females in this house? Nope. Here we go. Talk to me. You're hungry. Oh, that's the prequel? Oh, okay. I think old games that I've played. Really, my earliest memories are probably like Commodore 64. So, like Mule, Red Alert, Mission Impossible. Uh, Conan the Barbarian had a game. Are you gonna kill me? I am hungry. There we go. Me a meal at once. All right. Nice. Uh, let's save it. So let's do 40, 23. I hope I can. I, I hope I have unlimited saves. Last time I maxed it out on King's Quest 2 at 50 saves. All right. I cannot have any magical items on me. Uh, the last thing. This is the only thing I have is porridge. After that, I'm pretty much out of food. So hopefully he does not kill me. I haven't tested how many times I can let him go hungry before he just kills me. But I'm sure it's not a lot. Mananan is impatiently waiting for his food. His stomach rumbles as he drums his gnarled fingers on the table. You'd better feed him quickly or dire consequences may result. All right. I got your porridge, boo. Nom 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 nom. After this, you can actually talk to him and he'll give you some information. Basically, what I found out is he kidnaps little babies, uh, takes care of them until they're 18, and then kills them for reasons. So, my guy Gwydion is about to turn 18. I'm curious, Master. A dangerous mindset, boy. I know, but I was wondering how powerful are you? Impudence! Ooh. Not at all. I was just wondering if Ludor were to be invaded, would it be well protected by your magic? <laughs> of course. Irrelevant though that notion is, invaders would never reach these shores. My spells over the wind and weather would destroy any hostiles long before they caught sight of this land. You surmise <laughs> that you won't be taking any boat trips while he's around. As for invaders from the west, 
they would only meet their demise in the endless scorched wasteland. Hmm. And even if they endured, they would never survive an encounter with that desert beauty. Desert beauty. Mouth flickers upwards Interesting. Yeah. If you didn't know any better, you'd say he was thinking about someone he fancied. You wonder who it might be. Hmm. You wonder who it might be. Thank you for the follow, by the way. We'll run for fun. Always and love hearing that Monkey Island music. Talkative mood at the moment. Actually, Nick, aren't you, uh... Further might be unwise. Aren't you going to be streaming, uh... Secret of Monkey Island here soon, after, uh, Gungrave? Uh, can I take your bowl, sir? Your, relationship your bowl. With the wizard isn't tactile. You haven't played Monkey Island yet? I need to fix that. Oh, man, you should totally get it. You should totally get it. Yes, after Gungrave, maybe starting tomorrow. Hey! Well, I'll definitely be there. I love that game. I'm even okay with the remake. Though I do still love the original graphics. Alright, so now I just have to, like, kind of chill and wait for him to go do something. Maybe I should go do chores? He'll sometimes ask you to do things. You know, PG things. No hand jobs or anything. So, sweeping the kitchen, emptying his chamber pot. Washing his office, or dusting his office. Uh, I played Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis this winter. Love that. Yeah, that was a great game. Great, great game. Um, I could not play the Indiana Jones before that. Uh, I can't remember what it was called. It, was it called Last Crusade? I don't remember. But it had one scene where you were invading or sneaking into a Nazi stronghold. And it had like a fighting game system. It was pretty terrible. So I had to quit. But Fate of Atlantis was great. He's just watching me. Making sure I'm doing what I need to do. Yeah. I was really happy when they remade Monkey Island 1 and 2. Playing the remake with the original graphics. Yeah. I like to swap back and forth just to see what they did. Okay. That's another chore done. All right, so there's a couple of things I can do once he leaves. Oops, the he's gonna kick me out. Writing at his desk, he looks up from his work and greets you with a scowl. Boy, you know I don't like you to enter my private study. See what I got? Especially when I'm writing. Leave now, or I'll make you leave. Yeah, so this is like my map, map in the middle of the island. And like all the spells, well, all the locations, yeah, and then all the spells. Oh, I basically just have to wait. Just have to wait. I have the custom version made. You can mix in the voice acting into the old graphics and use the original controls. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, I kind of didn't like the remade graphics from Monkey Island One, but Monkey Island Two was good. Uh, so I just gotta like wait here. Oop! He's going on a journey. I am going to lie down for oh. a rest. Do not disturb me. Okay. So uh forty-three, so so I have some time to go do stuff. Yeah, the original graphics for the first one were much better. I think in the second one they definitely improved the artwork a little bit. Because the artwork for the first one was very, very different from how the original looked. I thought it was more true to the original graphics in the second one. Um, what am I supposed to do? All right, retrieve. Uh, take all. All right, I need to figure out what to do next. I guess I could do my spell and talk to the animals. So I think let's do that. Since he's asleep, we can go in. Okay. Let's unlock. You un Grab the Inside. wand. You take it. Okay. Open up the trap door. You scan. Nope. This. You quit. Okay. And we'll do our spell.
I can just fall down. Yeah, it's not gonna kill me. Okay. Uh, if I am remembering this correctly... Uh, do? Do. Um, fish get fish scales? Wait, hold on a second. Now I don't remember. Uh, understanding the language of creatures. Uh, do fur scale skin feather. Fur skin. Fur. The wad. Fur. You add. Uh, scales. You make. Uh, skin. Skin. You add the snake skin. And what was the other one? Feather. Feather. You add the. And then mix. You mix the bowl. Okay, and then recite. With trepidation, you prepare to recite the understanding the language of creatures incantation. Fur of beast and reptile skin, with scale and feather tooth thrown in. You try to figure out a uh, pen and paper adventure with an evil DM, water, but that's a video earth, game. Yeah. Hey, Dialid, what's going on? Hope things are going well. I hope you finished Hacker. Did you finish Hacker last night? Hacker was that CGA game I was talking about, everybody. That, uh, I think it was made in 1984. Uh, okay, Wave of Magic Wand. Okay. You wave the magic wand over the bowl. All right, I think it should be just doughy Inside now, right? The bowl is now a do All right. You carefully divide the mixture into two pieces. Almost the getting close. In your ears. Yeah. You will now be able to understand the speech of the animals, birds, and fish. You will not, however, be able to speak to them. The spell will last as long as the dough is in your ears. Yeah, I'm sure that spreadsheet you made is super, super helpful. Okay, now I've got dough in my ears. Uh, let me save it really quick. So I used dog fur instead of cat fur. I wonder. You look mighty oh, there we go. funny falling down those stairs, Gwydion. You look mighty. Okay, so now I can talk to animals. Ran out of time before completing it. Found out I might have missed a part of my map. Oh, uh, okay. Damn cat. Damn cat. Yeah, that game looked like a lot of fun. Hacker's definitely something I want to uh, play in the future. Are you going to play the sequel? I think the sequel's called Doomsday or something. Alright, let's go talk to animals. Ooh, can I talk to chickens? If there's one thing that hens can't stand, <laughs> it's being prepared by an amateur chef. I will say they stepped up their uh, their voice acting. You're no roost. You're you're. All right, so nobody has anything useful to say. Let's go talk to the eagle, falcon. Beware my talons, for the sake of your weak, wretched hide. So regal. All right. Um. What else can we talk to? We can go talk to the dog in town. I hope this spell is not a dead end. I hope there is actually some sort of usefulness from it. Nope, I can't talk to the bird. Uh. Oh, run, 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 run. These guys will knock you down and steal one of your items. And I don't know how to get it back once you get stolen from. Uh, I think so, but probably going to do another adventure game in between. I have one I think I'll like a lot. Oh, nice. Yeah, because you've played through the Space Quest games already, I think. Uh, oh, wait. Let's go talk to the dog. Good day to you, young man. What can I do for you? Just here to talk to your dog. Uh, the team that made Kathy Rain has a new game out, thinking of picking it up. Kathy Rain. What's, what is Kathy Rain? I'm so out of the loop. Kathy Rain. Uh, let's talk to the dog. 
you speak to the dog in a soothing voice and his ears perk up. Go ahead and pet him. Hank loves attention. Your teeth aren't too sharp. You should try chewing on a bone now and again. All right. I didn't do say uh, Space Quest 6, but I'm not really interested with it. Uh yeah, the the new the last Space Quest that they made was not not good at all. I actually kind of hated it. As you pet him, Hank licks your hand and thumps his tail in appreciation. Okay. Um hold on. Where are my notes here? I do have a picture of I don't know. You Infinite water? Empty picture. At the bottom the word Vandalfmere has been etched. Vandalfmere. I don't know what that means. Maybe I'll look in the Gabriel Knight series. Oh nice. Yeah, I've only ever played the first Gabriel Knight series, and it was the remake. The voice acting was a little weird, because I think uh the original Gabriel Knights had Tim Curry as the as the original voice actor. All right, what am I missing here? You have not. Can I talk to the dog again? You speak to. I haven't got a bone to pick with you, unless you want to give me one. Oh, okay. He wants to a... speak to the dog. In okay. A soothing voice. I need to find a bone for this dog. You got long fingernails. My back's itchy. Hmm. You speak. You got. Okay. I need to find a dog bone. Where am I gonna find that? Feather. No. Oh, huh. Interesting. I've got some dusting to do. Let me know if you need anything. Space Quest 4 is the best in my opinion. So I played through, yeah, I played through all of them. I can't can't really put my finger on what I would consider my favorite. It's been a really long time since I've played uh, Space Quest. Uh, what do I need to do? What do I need to do? Maybe fill the pitcher up with water, with seawater? Tim Curry is great, loved him in Dragon Age. Yeah. Yeah, he is a really good voice actor. He had a really funny interview uh, when he was talking about the original Stephen King movie, It, when he was playing as Pennywise the Clown. And uh, he said that uh, when he was playing it, the, uh, the kid actor that he would... Uh, play scenes with would I always ask him why he was so scary <laughs> when they're acting he's like well I kind of have to be you know it's a horror movie <laughs> uh, let's see if I can use a picture a bit redundant no well he also did uh, that comedy movie was it a uh, naked gun 33 and a third I think where he dressed up as a uh, girl scout or maybe it was hot shots it's one of those two can I not use a pitcher here? Oh, I need to use a pitcher on the waterfall. Pitcher on the waterfall. Got it. I like Space Quest 3 to 5 equally. Wasn't uh, Space Quest 4 the one that had like some broken puzzles or something? I remember I bought the game and it had like a little insert that said like, here, here's how you get past a certain puzzle. So for some reason I keep thinking it was shipped like broken, but maybe not. All right, let's get back over here. Police quest. Ah, oh, police quest. Police squad. All right, I should be able to... I'm guessing if I get this pitcher of water? No. So this pitcher of water is supposed to allow me to... Uh, go through the desert. I believe. And I do have this spider web that I haven't quite figured out. I, mean, I could throw a knife at it, but it'll, I just end up losing it. Yeah, 49.29. Yeah, one, uh, one point and click it. Do you know why Manon oop. is always going on those trips? He's looking for a replacement. Oh, whoa. They're talking. Yeah, one point-and-click adventure game that I played back in the day that a lot of, I don't know, for some reason when I bring it up, people have not played it was uh, Legend of Kyrandia. Like, the first one was good, but the second one was great. It was a really good game. 
He does that often, doesn't he? All right. Every 17 years, so they say. Because he I eats children. He birds, just like the rest of your kind. Uh, did you play the new Leisure Suit Larry game, Wet Dreams Won't Die? No, I haven't. Um, is that, like, brand new? Because I remember they released one on 360. It was, like, Leisure Suit Larry's uh, college years, but it got absolutely terrible reviews. So I kind of just, you know, didn't even bother. Police Quest is a series I should look into sometime. I just find it so rigid about certain things. Yeah. Yeah, I can't... I don't know. I feel like if you're going to make a point-and-click point and adventure game, I shouldn't have to adhere to a schedule. Which is what I feel like I have to do right now. I bet you but I hope it's just the very beginning. Once I get off this oh, island, no, it'll be fine. I hope you're feeding those chickens well up there. Your nose could do with a sharpen. Aren't you a little tall for an ape? I hope you're feeding those chickens... Ugh, you guys are useless. I'm contemplating another egg. Oh, it's a completely new game. Okay, uh, does it have, uh, uh, the original designer is, what's his name, Al, is it Allo? Allo, I believe. Wet dreams, huh? How are the reviews for the game? Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. A bit, re a bit. I guess I don't need to fill this picture up. So, you know, let's just go, let's go to the desert and see what happens. I hear there's a land to the east where the nuts are solid gold. Those are some solid gold nuts you got there. Uh, wet. What is it called? Wet dreams don't dry. Leisure suit Larry. Leisure suit Larry. Cool. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't know they released a new one outside of that one. So, where's the squirrel at? That's crazy. There's no such place. You haven't got. My third cousin twice removed has seen it for himself. East. Okay. He's just an old nutter. What would he know? Code Codename Iceman is the worst. Like really day. slow and awful. <laughs> uh, I don't think I've heard of co uh, Codename I think Iceman. Any squirrel who thinks acorns are made of solid gold is a nutter. Ain't no such thing. Fine. Have it your way. I believe him. Can you guys give me like then some useful information? Also. That it? You guys done talking. How can you crack anything open with those teeth? I hope you've got your winter spot picked out this year. Hmm. How can you stay warm with only fur it's on painful the top to play. of your head? Who is How it made by? Warm with only You're not a You haven't got I hope you've got your Damn. Can I use this? Can I pour the water in oh I can pour the water into the hole? Band of me. You successfully fill the hole with water. And thoroughly soak yourself in the Sierra. process. Mm. The pitcher slips out of your hands and shatters at the bottom of the rock. Oh, okay, got it. So the pitcher was only supposed to be used for this particular you take puzzle. The glass bottle from the hole and discover a piece of paper inside. Nice. Ooh, let's read it. Let's read it. I probably have to be getting back the piece soon. Of parchment has a magical glass bottle on one done. Side. You realize this is a page from the Sorcery of Old. Sorcery. On the back of the spell page is a scribbled note. Where can I find a mandrake root? I fear this land is barren of this rare vegetable. I have learnt it favors darker places. Perhaps the cave. It is my last hope. Okay, so that didn't really help. I already the knew... On the back of... Where... I already knew I needed to go into the cave. The page feels... So, yeah... Hmm. I would love for them to uh to remake Zack McCracken in the Alien Mindbenders. That would be a good game. That'd be willing to play again. Uh, okay, so I guess we're going to the cave. I'm gonna save it, because I feel like we have to go back to the house at any minute. I just don't know how to get through the cave entrance. Anybody else that wants to talk? What if... What if... I get caught in the web? Will the spider talk to me? Let's try it. Probably gonna kill me. Nope. We don't get to talk. Yeah. It was to be expected that a spider of this size wouldn't just live off flies. Alright. Um... Like, he just throws a knife. 
which is stupid. Your aim is yeah. true, and the deadly blade speeds toward the web. It passes between the strands and clatters harmlessly within the cave. So we're not going to do that. Uh, can I spoon it? You can't. No. What can I do to get rid of a freaking web? Um. Yeah, I don't know. Oh wait, fly! Give it a fly. How did I not think of this before? You can't. Oh, what? That's weird. You can't. I can't use the fly. You would think flies and spiders. Uh, look up that link. Ooh, let me check. McCracken.net. <gasps> what? Holy crap. Did they, they remade it? Nope, nope, nope. I don't want to download it. I just want to look at images right now. Alien Mindbenders. Oh, that is awesome. Characters. Nice. Oh, sweet. Okay, cool. I will check that out. I am definitely going to download that later. Uh, come on. Load it up. There we go. Uh, what can I... To Toadstool powder, the nightshade. Inside the jar, you see the saff I don't know. Oops, it's yellow. It's yellow. I got to get back. I got to get back to the house. All right, so... um. I don't have any food left. So I wonder what's going to happen. Oh, I gotta go around. My brother wound up in a stew the other day. That's too bad. If you can't sit on the branch, you shouldn't climb the tree. Not as bad as my uncle. His mm. hide still hangs in one of those human dwellings. If you can't... You're not a gold... Nope. Okay. Let's get out of here. Alright. Looks to me like the game is a continuation in the modern style. Continuation? Do you mean like a like a sequel? Or just a, an update? Yeah, it kind of reminds me of a... Uh, uh, what is it? Thistleweed Park? Alright, let's go hide all our stuff. Well, first, let's close this. You quickly. Um. Wand. You Thimbleweed. Yeah. The magic Thimbleweed. Thimbleweed. Which, that's another game I have that I, I want to play it, but I just have to get around to it. Uh. Shit. Close it. The cabinet. There we go. I played it. It's good, but I didn't like the ending. Uh, is there only one ending? Yeah. I was actually waiting for it to go on sale, and then uh, I think it was Epic Games actually just offered it for free. So now I own it for free, which is awesome because I didn't have to pay anything. Uh, let's hide all. Whoo, just in time. Uh, let's save it at 52.39. Sequel or prequel to the original story. Mm, okay. I was hoping it'd be a remake of the original. I mean, I'll still play it. Alright, let's see what happens. He's about to wake up. Thimbleweed Park, yeah. Thimbleweed. They also released... Um, what was the... That LucasArts game. Full Throttle. They remastered that and released it, I think, last year. Another game I want to play through. And they also added Curse of Monkey Island onto Steam. So, plenty of games to play. And then somewhere between all these different point-and-click adventure games, I have to fit in console games, Baldur's Gate 2, which is going to be a long game. I am ravenous. Fix me something immediately. Oh man, I don't have any food. I don't have any food. What am I supposed to do? What do I have? Do I have anything? 
I don't. Yeah, I don't have anything. So, well, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I still have my original copy of Full Throttle. Nice, nice. I used to keep all my old games, but after uh, being in the military oh, for several years and moving stuff over and over again, I finally just, I kind of sold my collection. I had a, at one point, I had a sealed copy of Maniac Mansion Day of the Tentacle. That was like my claim to fame. Manana. That and like the Lucas Arts packages where they have like five games in one uh in one box. I forget what they called it. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Shino, thank you for the follow. Very much appreciated. Alright, I can't feed this guy. Master? Don't jabber at me, boy. Bring me my food now. Yeah, it was kind of crazy how big the boxes of PC games were. They were kind of ridiculous. <laughs> there were no standards either. Like, these boxes would be like all shapes and sizes. I still have Stone Keep Sanitarium in black and white. Oh, yeah, I remember black and white. Sanitarium, I don't think I've played through. Is Sanitarium the one where you're a mental patient? In uh in the psych ward. Gwydion, you were assigned a chore. You know what happens to lazy boys. I am still hungry. When will you learn to obey? Perhaps you'd like a closer view of the ground. Suddenly you feel squishy and slimy. Great with an awful weight on your back. Your tentacled eyes swivel around to see your shell. Oh no, he's turned you into a snail. This better be temporary. Can I walk? I can walk around at least. It's just. Can I crawl in it? No. Oh, I can only look and walk. Great. I bought it new and played it all night till I finished it. Nice. Yeah, I think the, the last couple of games that I bought and played immediately were like the Dark Souls series, uh, Star Control Origins. I'm a big fan of Star Control 2. Such a great game. And uh, uh, Bloodborne I had for a while. I think the last time I did a midnight launch was probably like Gears of War back when I was always playing on the 360. Okay, so I didn't feed him. And he just changes me into a snail? That's not a bad deal. I have decided to take a journey. Alright, journey time. So 5604. So I'm just put fourth oh, what was that? Fourth journey? Third journey? Or first no feed. Very descriptive. Cause I'm sure if I don't feed him enough times in a row, he'll just kill me. Uh, let's go upstairs. Grab all our stuff. Um can I talk to you, Cat? You'll get what's coming to you, Gwydion. I used to be his favorite. You'll... Okay. Well. Alright, so now I need to grab all my stuff and figure out where I need to go. So let's retrieve everything. The only thing I can think of the is... The vial of rose petal essence has a delicate... Rose petal aroma. essence... <laughs> Give your kidnapper a bowl mixed with your chiz. He won't know the difference. <laughs> tapioca. It's tapioca. I invented yogurt. Uh, okay, so I gotta figure out how to get through the web. Because I feel like that's the next puzzle. He has a really hard time with these stairs. Alright, I have to figure out the web... I think the web. The web and the bees. There has to be something I can do to get rid of bees. How long were you in the town, Coop? <laughs> the voices. Just over here. 
The wizard nabbed me after I made two centuries. What? You are not that old. <laughs> In eggs, dear. Really? Oh, I thought you meant your betting average. Terrible. You're... You're... Okay. No. okay, so they don't have anything useful to say. Alright, so I got to get into the cave somehow. And, um... Get this beeswax somehow. So... Maybe we gotta do the beeswax first. Let's go do that. Actually, what spells do I have? So I have an invisibility spell. I can turn into a cat. I can bring a storm. Uh, I can do a deep sleep, or I can do a teleport. Or I can fly. I don't know what of those would be useful yet. So maybe let's go look at the beehive. Yeah, let's go do that. Run! Actually, can I talk to the bears? Scram! Nope. Okay, he speaks English. Okay, so I've got this. Let's save it right here. B. 50, oh, four, or 5708. 5758. What can I do A with this? A of busy bees buzz around their hive. Uh, what can I do to get rid of them? Um, I don't know. You can. Can I just grab it? That oh, can I talk to them? You can smell. Them. No. Oh shit. Oh, nope. We're not doing that. We're not dealing with that. After we. Yeah, I'm not letting you steal my stuff. A picket. Nothing. It says there's a picket fence here. Nope, I can't grab it. Careful. Th that. Hmm. What do I got? The bees, not the bees. Oh wait, maybe they don't like fragrances. That might be it. Rose petals? You can't. You can't. No. Okay, I'm just guessing. <laughs> uh, nightshade? Uh, whatever this is. Saffron? You can't. No. Toad? You can Spittle? You can't. Uh, can I cut the tree down? You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. No. Uh, spoon. I can't spoon them, Zeth. Do they like flies? You can't. No. What else do we have? Acorns? Yeah, we don't really have anything we can use. Ooh, can I cut a cactus? You can't. You no. This is a dead end, I th think. The this, this, this skin, this skin. Skin's too tough. You yeah, this is a dead end here. Yeah. There is not but sand for many miles. I see bones here. Direction. Maybe I can give the bones to the dog. Is not to wander too far afield. Let's try it. Nope. Oh, never mind. It won't even let me. Uh, what else? Maybe there's more things to talk to. Let's keep going up. The ski. This. One of the spells this said I needed cactus juice, but. Oh wait, bone, bone, bone. Oh. Ooh. Can these guys talk? I wonder which of us has the longer tongue. <laughs> I'm not showing you my tongue. It's a few. It's a. F it's a. F Come on. I'll show you mine. These pervert lizards. A, that's. A all right, fine. A quick flick, and that's all. Oh, that is a long one. That is a sexual. I know. <laughs> Your turn. These perverts. You call that a tongue? <laughs> You'll be the one. You. It's a good thing we're not big enough to ride. I hear our distant relatives were tamed in Chapier. It's a good. You'll be. You. No, Miss. You'll be. Do you think he's trying to speak to us? Oh, right. I can understand them, but they can't understand me. Okay. 
Yeah, I don't really see anything. I love those lizards. Yeah. They're like, uh... Oh! What? Alright. I don't remember this. Damn, I completely missed this portion. So that was number 13. Yeah, they're like, uh... Frat bros that are high. <laughs> What's up, dude? Door. I haven't been in here. Let's go in. Knock, knock. Oh, Your shh. eyes adjust to the dark as you struggle to breathe the putrid air. What is this place? I'm guessing this will kill me if I go too far. Yep. Oh, a Medusa. Just. A man. Looking for a woman. I have known many called man. All wretched. All deceitful. Now, all stone. Oh, I've got a mirror. You better watch out. As a man, you are not capable of honesty. Of truth. But I am. As a man. You exist only to break a woman's heart. Shallowness and fear are your bane. Come closer, and I will destroy you. Nice. Alright, uh, let me save. Could I have a mirror? Uh, 10002, uh, Medusa. I wonder if I can grab that. Watched under Smod's stone cold glare, you feel that would probably not be a good idea. Oh, her name is Smod. Mirror. Hey, it worked. Nice. She's had a taste of her own medicine. She's harmless now. Okay. Let's go get whatever this item is. Hopefully it'll be useful. Keeping your hands to yourself. What? Grab it. You take the smooth stone. What is this stone? The stone is smooth, round, and an unusual color. Somewhat huh. like that of amber. Amber. Okay. Is there anywhere else to go? This lair feels even more inhospitable than your own. A sickly green glow pours from a wide pit, beyond which alcoves lie in darkness. The pillar now stands devoid of its stone. Keeping your hands to yourself <clears throat> might be the wisest co Most unceremonious death by petrification. Yeah, that was a bit, uh... That was a bit weak. I was actually surprised it worked. Because it's such an obvious solution. I thought they would have made me jump through two or three different steps. In the dark recess, the victims of their own shallowness stand in stony silence. In the dark, in the... I mean, I guess that's it. That's all we needed. The problem is, I just, I don't really know what to do with this stone. The cliffs run... Uh, actually, let's save it. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what to do with the stone. Can I melt it? I was expecting a little speech. Yeah, exactly. Went up to her, I showed her the mirror, and she's just like, oh, I'm dead. Okay, uh, let's go. I wonder if the stone will work on the web. You know, video game logic, you can't cut a web with a knife, but you can throw a stone through it. I don't know. Let's try it. Let's try it. It's a new item. Let's try it on everything. You can't. Y no. What can I use it with? What can I use it with? You can. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I can sell it. Yeah, let's go to the town. Yeah, we've been to the library. We already got everything we needed there. Hold on. What else do I have? Is there anything in here? I think I already did all the puzzles for this area, besides maybe the beer. You have nothing. Nope. Beat it, kid. Get low. Get. Lo These are the guys that tried to Bench. rob me. Yeah, I don't think the beer is part of the puzzle. 
think it's just part of the decor. The town tavern is a haven. Yeah. The barrels contain a fair quantity DB. of DB. You notice that one is dripping and has the letters DB etched into the side. DB. I don't have a. Well, I can get a cup. Let's try it. You can't. You can't. You, you, you can't. She don't. No. Bull? You, 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 you can't. No. Okay. Maybe you have nothing else. Can I take the flag? Like no. Okay, yeah, I think I'm done with this tavern. I don't think there's anything I need to do in here. Let's see if there's anything I can do in here. I haven't bought an item yet. Good day to you, young man. What can I do for you? Would you like a smooth amber stone? Keeper is not in. No. Keep it to your. It's magical. You have nothing. Tis better to purchase and than to purloin. Hmm. Tis better. Tis. 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 I'm just tis, clicking on everything. Tis, just tis, in case I'm missing tis, something. Tis. Oop. Can I steal tis, something while you're not looking? Tis. No. Tis. 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 The storekeeper wouldn't like you. Hmm. As you pet. Yeah, he doesn't have anything new to say, right? Yeah. As you. That's it. You have. Okay. Um. What am I missing? What am I missing here? Literally, all I have left is I think the cave and the beehive. Can I? I don't know. Let's try throwing the beehive, or let's try throwing the stone at the beehive. Maybe if we knock it loose. Because you know, video game logic. Let's try it. You can't. No. You can't. Maybe I have a spell that I can use. Invisible. Deep sleep. Teleport. Maybe I could go invisible, but I need cactus juice. Yeah, I need cactus juice. Two drops of toad spittle and stir with a spoon. So how do I? How do I get cactus juice? You can't. You can't. Is it a particular cactus? You can't. No. Hmm. Oh shit! Run, 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 run. Uh, I this, can't. It says skin is stiff on top this, on this one. This, 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 this. You. The skin. No. This, this, this. You can't. Maybe I gotta find a very specific uh, cactus. Let's try this, that. This. You can't. This. 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 You. 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 Can, the skin. The skin. No. This, this. Nope. Okay. I was thinking I could turn invisible and get the uh, the honey without being noticed. This. 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 No. You. 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 This. 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 <laughs> no. No. No dice anywhere. This brings me back to. Okay. One more section. This. This. Oh, here we go. Yes. Uh, okay, so I have the cactus. Oh, I need to put the cactus juice in a bowl. Oh, I also need lard. Maybe you need to cut it with something besides a knife. Never mind. Yeah. Uh, can I do it again? You're not this, 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 you, you, this, yeah. this. Okay, so what are my spells saying? You to Um, is this? No, no, it's not this. It's back at the uh, place. Also, I have the cactus plus a knife. I have the cactus. I can do the cactus juice in the bowl. I need lard. I don't know how to get lard. Do I have it? No, I don't think I do. What else do I have? Uh, storm spell, ocean water, mud, toadstool powder. Huh, what would that do? Maybe I can try that. Ocean water plus a bowl. Yeah, turning into a cat, I would need mandrake root, which I don't have. Deep sleep. Spoon, light brassiere. No, that wouldn't. I don't know how I'd use the deep sleep on. To fly, I need saffron, a rose petal, eagle feather, and fly wings. 
I mean, I can just start trying out spells. Let's start trying out spells. What's with the li Go away. Library? Oh, you mean that derelict building in town? Yeah, no one ever goes in there. I have. It's abandoned. Why? Can't the townspeople read? Not since the last teacher left. When was that? About 50 years ago. Jesus. Gee, it's hard to get teachers out to small towns. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, and I think I've tried everything on this, right? You. You. No. Key. You. Oops. You. Yeah, I don't even know what that is. What is that? You hold a small. Oh, black cat fur. Yeah, I don't, uh... Yeah, I don't know. He's not interested in fish. Yeah, let's see if we can go get the seawater. This ocean water. You can't... Nope, I need a flask. I don't have a flask. The greenish-gray cactus is small, plump, and fleshy. Okay. Mandrake root, I can't change it to a cat. I, I can try the storm spell. Let's try that. Probably getting close to uh, the wizard coming back anyway. Oops, I gotta go around. Yeah, so we're, we're two puzzles away from potentially solving this, I guess, island. Because I'm assuming the entire game doesn't take place here. That would be super painful. Having to adhere to this time schedule. Yep, it turned yellow. So that was kind of useless outside of the Medusa. Yeah, I didn't really see much else. The room. What do we what do we need for the storm? Ocean water plus a bowl. Oh wait, we don't have the ocean water. Okay, so we can't even do that. Um we can't do invisibility. We can do the deep sleep, I believe. Hmm. We gotta put up all our stuff. Uh, three acorns plus a mortar, nightshade, a spoon, and a brazier. And then boil until oh god, this is so so many steps, so many steps. Hide all. Okay, this will be the second non-feeding. What else do we have? Teleport randomly. Salt plus a mortar. Mistletoe. A smooth stone. Oh, okay, so that's what that's used for. Got it. So, let's see. So we have that. We have the mistletoe. We have salt. We have a spoon. We have nightshade. We have three acorns. We have the mortar. We have that. Boil until almost gone. Remove. Yeah, stretch on table. Uh, we have that. We have that. Don't have that. We have that. Two drops. We have all of this, except the lard. Yeah, so we're missing a couple of items. Oh, wait. Yeah, we just gotta sit here and wait. Mandrake root we don't have. Fish... Oil? Do we have fish oil? I think we do. Cat hair we have. Spoon we have. Saffron. Rose petal, which is that perfume. Eagle feather we have. And then we have fly wings. So we could turn into a fly. That might actually work. We turn into a fly. Go through the, uh, the web. That might work. Hmm... Let's, because we don't need the smooth stone. Uh, house. So let's reload our old game here. Medusa, let's do this one. All right, yeah, let's go back down. We'll try this spell out and then uh, maybe we'll call it from here. Hello, hello, Cam. What's going on, man? Welcome. You're just in time to see me do maybe one final thing. <laughs> it's 
still on this godforsaken timer. Still in this damn house. Holy nostalgia, Batman. The original version of this was one of the first computer games I played. What's going on, mystery? Is it ka cap Capabara? Capabara. I think I said that right. Yeah, yeah. So we're playing the we're playing the AGD remake, which is not really canon at all. It didn't. Uh, it doesn't follow the third game very closely. Uh, actually, I need to get the uh, the wand. Yeah, but welcome, welcome. Yeah, we're. Our, our goal is to go through all the King's Quest games eventually. We've done the AGD remake of King's Quest 1, uh, 2, and now we're working on the third one. You take it with you. Now, since AGD did not remake anything else, we'll be playing the originals after this. So we'll do the original King's Quest 4, 5, 6, 7, and I think uh, 8, if 8 came with the collection. Does that mean the spells require less typing? Yes, it's no typing, actually. But it does require mixing a lot of ingredients. Uh, which I'm about to do. So let's go ahead and try it. Alright, so we're going to try to fly. This Flying like an eagle or a fly. Since those are the only ingredients we have. So saffron into a jar of rose petal blah blah blah. Inside the All right, saffron into rose petal. You add a pinch of. What else do we got? Oh, that's it. Recite the following: recite spell and then wave a magic wand over it. Okay, I think I got it. Recite. With trepidation, you prepare to recite the "Flying Like an Eagle or a Fly" incantation. Fly Spirits of like air, an eagle. cloud and breeze, lend me your wings that I may seize the opportunity to fly. Allow me passage through the sky. Hey! Okay, and then wave a magic wand over it. You wave the magic wand over the vial of rose petal essence. Hey! Okay. Uh, save it as 57. Uh, King's Quest 5 and onwards had a point and click interface when they were released. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, I was wondering when they switched out the text parser for, you know modern amenities <laughs> uh, let's see fly spell let's do it as fly spell all right then let's go to the web and see if we can make our way through oops as I fall down yeah so you're telling me King's Quest 4 when we play it is going to be text-based still did Queen's uh, Kings oop no oh, back up was King's Quest 4 VGA graphics or EGA graphics all right cat's gone we can go up yeah, I tried playing the uh, original King's Quest 2 and 3, and they were just, they were like a bit of a shock. <laughs> a shame what happened to all Yeah, because, uh, yeah, well, yeah, it was EGA. EGA was the, uh, EGA and PC speaker. I think King's Quest 4 might actually have real sound effects and music, but I think it's still EGA graphics. Roger. Uh, well, he's quite a fox now. <laughs> King's Quest V is both VGA and EGA. Okay. Especially after. I th I think my computer can run it in VGA. I think it's powerful enough. Terribly confused, poor thing. Can't decide whether to mate or to eat us. Roger the fox. All right. All right. Let's go down. This will be our final try on this web puzzle here. Uh, I believe 4 is VGA in terms of color palette. Let me make sure I don't fall off this cliff here. But still very pixely graphics. Ah, gotcha. Do I have more than 256 <laughs> kilobytes of memory? Of RAM? Extended memory? Yeah, yeah. Virtual memory. Virtual memory. That's what I got. I've also freshly defragged my hard drive, so I think I'm good to go. Ugh, go away. Uh, I think it was up, right? Up. Or maybe this way. No? Hold on. I'm confusing myself. Yeah, let's go up and to the right. 16 colors max, I just checked, which is EGA. Yep, okay. I mean, it's fine. 
It won't be my first uh, text-based game, so I should be okay. VGA looks incredible. Yep. Oh, yeah. 256 colors is nice. All right. Let's, uh, let's save it and try this. We can try changing into an eagle or changing into a fly. We're going to do both. All right. Uh, what does it say to do? Shit. Oh, dip, dip the wings into. It's not wise to me. No. It's not. It's not. Wait a minute. I have eagle feather. Oh, I'm an eagle. Oh, I'm an eagle. Where am I going? Uh. Oh wait. They said there's treasure to the east. This is 256 colors. There is ocean to the east, as far as the eye can see. Perhaps you should turn back while you still can. Maybe I need to pull the, the wings off. Now it nope. Can I go through here? Really? Eat it. Eat it. Oh! Oh my god, it worked. Holy crap. I, I would not have expected that. Where are we going? Nice. Nice. That actually worked. Somehow that worked. All right, let's save it. <laughs> All right, cool, cool. So we're not completely stuck. Uh, let's put cave now. And we can walk on forward. Oh shit, glad I saved. Mm -hmm. Hi? Hi, what did we grab here? Oh, mandrake, a mandrake root. Plant. Nice. Okay, um, we're actually going to, since it is past 7 p.m. here, we're going to go ahead and save it and I'll wrap up the stream. As crazy as it sounds, King's Quest 4, 5, and 6, all the same resolution, 320 by 240. Oh, really? Huh, interesting. Yeah, I'm really curious to see what King's Quest 8 is like. Cave. Right? Cave. All right, guys. Um, yeah, we're at a good stopping point. I think we are very close to getting off this island and away from this stupid time transition thing or time limit. So, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and close it out. And I will be back on, what's today, Thursday? I'll be back on Saturday at noon Eastern Standard Time. That's the wrong one. Wrong one. It's my new one. Yeah. So we'll be back on noon Saturday and noon Sunday and continue the King's Quest Love Fest. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, Thank you, everybody, who uh, came from the raid. Thanks, Sinatar. Uh, if you haven't yet, shoot me a follow, and uh, you'll get a notification. I'm also on Twitter, but all I really do is post, you know, stupid pics and schedule updates. So you don't have to follow me there. Uh, in the meantime, let's find someone to raid. Who's playing? That's probably because monitors were a pretty standard size back then. Oh, yeah, yeah. Those monitors were big. Uh, who is playing? Hey, Wander Maven's on. Let's shoot him a raid. Wander Maven. All right. Hopefully, I will see you guys uh, Saturday.